you know, why am I collecting data? What's the reason that I'm doing that? You know, there's obviously a reason. So you're going to do, you know, uh, one of two types of studies. Um, and that's really all there is, two types of studies. You have, you know, an experiment and an observational study. Technically, they probably, you probably already know what they are based on their names. But an observational study, you know, in an observational study, we only observe, right? We observe how, you know, our sample, how people in this study are, you know, moving, what we want from them. We observe, and let's say we measure certain characteristics. Characteristics. <laughs> um, let me move that over so you can see it. Okay, but we do not treat, we do not modify, we do not treat, we don't, you know, do treatments, we don't modify the individuals in the study. I'm just going to say subjects. So, Obviously, in an observational study, I'm observing and I'm taking data from my observations. In an experiment, though, we are applying some treatment and we want to see the effect of that treatment. So, um, within an experiment, um, we have what's called experimental units. Those are the individuals involved in the experiment. <laughs> Very technical, right? Um, those are the individuals involved in the experiments. Now, there's one thing that I want to talk about specifically, I should say a couple things, from an experiment. Okay, so um, experiments. There are different types of experiments, and I want you guys to know because you're in the medical field, most of you, so you're, you know, basically going to see a lot of these situations. So you have a blinding experiment. And what is blinding? I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard that before. You know, a subject within the experiment does not know if they're getting treatment or not. They don't know if they are receiving I before E except after C. <laughs> they don't know if they're rece receiving treatment or not. Why? Because we want to avoid the placebo effect. And I'm sure you've heard of the placebo effect. The placebo effect is, you know, I, in my, my own words, it's a psychological effect. Um, you know, the subject is improving because they think that they're getting something to improve that. So I give you something to treat your stomach aches. And I'm like, yo, this is going to treat your stomach aches. It works. And so all of a sudden, you're like, I don't get stomach aches anymore. But I gave you, you know, but is it really the treatment or is it just you thinking that you're getting better? So what they do is they do a blind study. The subject doesn't know if they're actually receiving treatment you know, or a sugar pill, let's say. So they can get more accurate results. Now, even more than blinding studies, they do what's called double-blind studies, and this is the most common. Now, of course, these are experiments, so you're applying a treatment. And a double, uh, in a double-blind study, so the uh, so one the subjects within the study. Actually, I'm just gonna say the subjects and the doctors or whoever's giving the treatment, um, giving treatment, don't know who's receiving it. They both don't know. So, you know, why? You know, we don't really want the doctors who are giving these uh, 
these individuals involved in the study, we don't want them to say anything to affect the study. If they were to know that you're receiving a treatment, would they you know, say something to you to make it sound like you are receiving something to better your stomach ache? You know, is the effect of the treatment, the drug that I'm testing, is it an accurate result or not? Like, are you really getting better from, you know, this pill that I gave you? Or are you psychologically thinking that you're getting better because I am telling you I'm giving you something to make your stomach ache better?